Hi there. Do you mind if I show people my new invention? Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. What, me? No. <laughs> First of all, should we tell them about you taking a header out of the chair the other day? Oh. Went to sleep. Me, me and went, my... went forward, went out of the chair. Smacked her head in, smacked her head into the wall over no, there. Uh, on the floor. Well, you think on, on the, the tile floor. Whatever. I don't know where you hit because I wasn't here. I only heard you yelling. But got a big old bump on your head. Ouch. That was really over bad. Over here. Oh, it's all kind of healing up there. Cut your nose a little bit. Hurt your hand. This one was really bad. Oh, bracita. Yeah, poor Lindy. You know, uh, um, uh, the blue, the hummingbirds were trying to tell me that their feeder was empty. There was one going one way and the other one going the other way, and they're circling my head like that. Right here. Yes. Well, it hang made on. me dizzy. Made you dizzy. Oh. Uh. And that's why you fell out of the chair. No. You fell out of the chair because you went to sleep in the chair. I, and the hummingbird feeder, oh my gosh, it's low. It's not empty. Hmm. Well, they don't like all those palms in their way. I don't either. And we just had them trimmed. Well, they're, they're, be, they're watching from somewhere. Uh, it have just happened. I have to leave the barbecue open because the big yellow wasps built a nest in it. Took, don't let that wasp. took me three days don't with. Don't let that wasp scare you. All he'll do is sting. I spent three days with the pressure washer to convince them they didn't live there anymore. Anyway, here's my invention. So, <laughs> oh. I took a rope and I tied her chair <laughs> to the door. Ow! So, Jerry, don't. she that can't. Hurts. She can't tip over forward. <laughs> Don't do that. That hurts me. You have to do it gently with your feet. But then your, your feet remember how fast it was going. So you don't fall over. What'd you say? There's a lot of things you could learn if you listen to your feet. Listen to your feet? Yeah. Your feet's not the noisiest part of you. It's not the what? The noisiest part of you. <laughs> I'm talking about your mouth. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, since, uh, since we are now uh, socially isolating ourselves, uh, all of our YouTube friends, yeah, and they're going to have to put up with more of this stuff because we're not going out. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So, At least not as a couple. What am I? <laughs> you mean I'm going out without you to get the for essential trips? Well, no, Carol's leaving though. You won't have a walking partner. That's true. So, um. Maybe you can round one up next door. No. No thanks. I think uh, now that the maid has been paid and furloughed until May 5th when we will review that situation. Uh, you and I should probably um, divide up the jobs. So I'm going to ask oh, you this good question. Plan, so, good plan. Do you want the dishes, uh, the ironing, mopping the floors, cleaning the bathrooms? Um, which of those jobs would you like? Well, I'll take those. What are you going to take? <laughs> you going to take all of those? Oh. Uh, Good. No, I can't do the floor one because I can't kneel anymore. Anna doesn't... Too hard on my knees. Anna doesn't kneel. She just sweeps and mops. Yeah, and you know what kind of a job she does. Oh, you're saying she, she ought to be on her knees. Yes. What, scrubbing the grout and the tiles? Yes. Yeah, good thing I'm in charge of the maid. She'd quit if you were in charge. What's that? She'd quit if you were in charge. Oh. You'd be too demanding. 
No, I'm not. There's a lot of things that I put up with and don't say anything about. We're not talking about me, we're talking about the maid. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, we probably ought to do something entertaining. Well, so how is this going, do you think? Um, I think we'll probably find out how this is going. <laughs> It'll be judged. <laughs> We will be judged. Yeah. What do you got over there? Cabbages? Oh, that's yeah, part of our... Yeah, those are purple uh, cabbages. So I placed an order online with walmart.com MX. That's Mexico. And um, I ordered a number of things. And I ordered one head of purple cabbage. Purple? You... Well, I think they call it red. But anyway, it's purple to me. And you I didn't got... say... You... Did you say color? Did they give you a choice of oh, what? coal or coal morado? Oh. Anyway, I ordered one, I got two. And there's some other things I ordered I didn't get. So as you place your order, there's this oh. disclaimer. You have to check a box if you want them to call you if there are substitutions or um, things they're out of. And I didn't check the box because they're going to call me in Spanish and it's going to take me I, yeah, too much like time to, to figure out that. what the heck they're talking about. Anyway, uh, I got two cabbages in. and no broccoli. It looks like a gnat between my eye and the, the glasses. A you, gnat. You had a, you had a gnat? A gnat. You are having a nap? No, I had a gnat going <laughs> my eyelashes. Oh, a gnat. A gnat. <laughs> no? Probably chase him with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably enough silliness for now. That's probably enough. What do you think, folks? Oh, no, that's friends. You know, all the time people are saying, <laughs> Every video I put up and you're not anywhere near it. It's like, oh, hi, Lynn. Where's Lynn? We want more Lynn. <laughs> I think they probably have enough Lynn for now. Yeah, I'm thinking... Why do you... Why, why when I'm talking, does your mouth follow mine? I don't know. Maybe. While I'm talking, your mouth is going... After 46 years, maybe we've had our lips locked too many times. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking no, about. No, I think it was not enough. <laughs> are, you, are you saying that I mouth... No, I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> are you saying I mouth your words when you're talking? Yes. <laughs> now, I did that on purpose that time, but they can't see that anyway because it's the side of my head. Oh, which side? This side. Oh. Oh, I thought maybe it went through your ear. I should do that trick where I shine the lights through my ears, huh? Oh, yeah, that'd be good. No, it has to be in the dark. That'd be really good, Jerry. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Adios, amigos. <laughs> thought I'd just throw in a couple of nighttime shots here. The pool. Lynn, reading a new book on her Kindle. Hi friends, I just wanted to take a moment before I upload this video here on Thursday evening for you to see Friday morning to say thank you. You know, during these times when we are socially isolating ourselves and not going out to dinner with friends and not running next door to talk to the neighbors and see what's going on in the neighborhood, um, you're viewing my videos and your comments, that really works two ways. I know that uh, staying home, um, more of you are watching my videos because you got nothing better to do. But I want to tell you that here on the other side of the camera, you're helping me too. All of your comments and your questions and your well wishes and your admonitions for us to stay um, healthy and safe. That's my way of being 
connected to the world and thank you for making it possible for me to stay connected in that way. I really do appreciate it and I look forward to your comments and questions and so on much more than you know. So thank you. I wanted to say as I was setting up the camera there uh, to some of you who um, two, three videos ago kept telling me that my lampshade was crooked, I straightened it. <laughs> I think my next video is going to be a drive out to see how um, people here on the North Shore of Lake Chapala are acting and uh, socially distancing or not. I have a feeling that it's much better than it was in my last video, which was a week ago when I went to Walmart. But I don't think it's as good as we would hope it would be. And the reason I don't think that is because I hear um, what appears to be music and parties and so on uh, around town. And, um, you know, I, I'm not going out to see those. I just hear it. And it sounds like too many people together. The federal government of Mexico has issued a voluntary stay-at-home order, except for those people over 60, and then it's stated as a more strict um, rule that people over 60 um, socially isolate and stay home. I think my next video is going to be a drive out about town. <laughs> Since I am over 60, I may get a police escort back to my house or something, so I might be uh, letting myself in for an even more interesting video. But uh, I want to just uh, take a drive, stay in my car, and drive around town and take a look and see what's really going on out there. Um, thanks for watching. See you soon. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.